guys welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna see how to go from this to a better version of yourself but before we get started if you don't follow me on instagram yet make sure that you go there and check it out it's at gabriella zake and i usually post fashion and beauty and lifestyle content also don't forget to subscribe here to my channel because i post vlogs every week and also give this video a thumbs up in the end if you liked it so yeah let's get started today is monday so i had a very intense weekend and i woke up looking like this in this video i kind of just want to show you guys how i look the best version of myself naturally without tons of makeup because it's monday morning and you know like don't have the time so i'm gonna split this video into a skincare and face massage session and the makeup the natural glowy makeup session that's gonna you know be that final touch it's just so many things that you can do skincare and just like massage wise that will make you just look your best version even though you're not wearing any makeup so that's what i'm trying to focus on today i'm gonna start by putting my hair up <laughs> Okay, so now that I put my hair up, I'm gonna go ahead with my Costa Brazil facial oil. The packaging is a little sticky, I don't know why. <laughs> so I tend to accumulate a lot of liquids in my face, especially after a long weekend where I drink um, significant amount of alcohol. So I always like to begin this routine by doing like a face facial massage. Um, focused on the lymphatic drainage and also like with a little bit of uplifting moves always good to have an oil in hand when you do that if you manage to do this routine before you take a shower always start with the neck and like do a little massage here to stimulate your lymph nodes and also to give you like this muscular massage that's relaxing and it's gonna help drain the liquids from your face and it's gonna like unblock the tension here so i always like to begin doing a little bit of stimulation here so i do this for a few seconds then i like to do like little things here to stimulate the lymphatic system and then i'm gonna get this cup that i use for facial cupping this is such a great tool to have like it's so affordable and you can buy this on amazon for less than 20 dollars i do like this five to ten times in each area i usually alternate between this cupping tool and a gua sha i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like already changed from one side to the other side like when you compare you see that it's so much lifted here uh with just like under three minutes of doing this so like to bring it down also to drain you can use a gua sha tool the gua sha tool is great for that but i use the gua sha more at night just because it leaves my skin feeling a little bit red and then just do like a little massage here to lift the eyes and then we do a little bit on the forehead i like to do the lifting massage since i don't accumulate tons of liquid on my forehead always bring down massage and there you go so now that i finished the other side i noticed that my skin is a little bit more lifted my face is a little bit more lifted and like some of the liquids that accumulated on my face have already drained you can do your makeup from here but i'm gonna take it a little further and i'm gonna use my new face tool so I, I think like this tool deserves a video just dedicated to it because it just like makes such a big impact and make a big difference on the skin. So I start with the gel primer, which is the one that conducts the current. So I just turn it on, wait for the beep and then start working. If you're a beginner, you can't regulate the intensity like around um, here there's a minus and a plus button so this is the comparison this side I did the new face tool and this side I didn't yet 
So now I'm gonna get to this part. Okay, now it's time to get to the front part, which is the makeup, but before that, I noticed that I have a little bit of a mustache situation going on, so I'm just quickly going to remove that. You can buy like a blade like this at the drugstore. Then I'm gonna start by applying my toner. I usually don't do toners with cotton buds, I just like splash them over my face. This one's a calming toner I really like. And since I have a little bit of acne going on, especially around here, and I'm doing some acne treatments that can be a bit aggressive on the skin, this calming toner really helps out in reducing like the redness and the irritation. It's from Retrovape, by the way. It's a bit pricey. Not sure if it justifies the price tag, but I really like it, but I'm not sure if it justifies the price tag. Just saying. So for next step, I'm gonna go with my hyaluronic acid. I apply this every day. This one's from The Ordinary. And just like the toner, I apply it like this so we don't mess with other products that are below it. Then after my serum, I like to go in with my eye cream. This one's from Clarence. It's a total eye lift. I like to apply this finger. I think it put a little bit too much. Just dabbing and then mixing until it's absorbed so i gave it a little bit of a zoom in so you guys could see the skin better next up i'm gonna apply my primer this one's from laura messier you can also apply your sunscreen if you're getting sun exposure it's not my case today i'm just working from home so i'm just gonna go with my foundation primer really like the texture of this one it's great if you have oily skin once my primer is all dried out, I will go with my tinted moisturizer. I have been avoiding foundation because, you know, with the mask using, it's just not been working out for me and for my acne. So I have been replacing my foundation with this Trini London tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna apply it with my hands. And then maybe I should have done this step before the tinted moisturizer, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Um, is it gonna focus? Yeah, this is the acne treatment cream concealer. It has salicylic acid, it's from Sephora. And I just dab it on my acne spots. And then I'm just gonna dab it. I can just dab a bit more of tinted moisturizer if I wanna hide more my acne situation then i will quickly set this tinted serum with my huda beauty powder this one is called cupcake i think that's the name of the shade and this brush is from hourglass okay so next up i really like to give my skin a little bit of luminosity and why not a little bit of blush into my cheekbones but without being an actual blush the product that i think is perfect to achieve that is this fluid sheer by Giorgio armani this is like a it highlights and it gives a little bit of color to your cheeks it's just like the perfect base for you to apply blush and layer everything over it when you're finishing your makeup i think it just sets the perfect foundation you can use it before or after the blush or you can just do both gives a, a little bit more of a i don't know and then oh my god this is making a mess i'm gonna do my concealer this one's from bare minerals don't do like a lot but i do have like really really dark circles do here and then you just mix everything I use my beauty blender next I'm gonna do my eyebrows I use this pencil by benefit so I start by brushing them up okay so I let my hair down because I felt like at this point I could already do that so anyway I'm gonna do the my eyebrows so I'll just do like small strokes to get like a look that's as natural as possible and now i'm gonna use the 24-hour brow setter also by benefit but the package is already like fading so i'm just gonna brush this up 
So my other favorite thing to use when I'm trying to achieve that natural look is a good natural um, cream blush and this one's or liquid blush this one's from Giorgio Armani and I think what's really cool about this product in particular is that you can just layer it until you get the look that you want I'm going for this like kind of sun-kissed effect so I'm gonna apply into the areas where the sun would naturally hit it always gives me like a very very natural blushy look so i'm just gonna layer a bit more and dab it and what's also really cool about it is that i can just like dab the excess in my eyelids so they can be a little bit more pink and then i'm gonna go with the other end of my powder brush from hourglass on my nars palette link all the products here and I'm just gonna dab some highlighter here to give that natural glow this next step is pretty much optional but I like to do just to give a little bit of a special touch I only noticed now that my camera is so full of makeup stains from this video but anyway so for this I'm gonna use my summer lights palette by NARS so for this step you can just look at your skin tone and figure out what's the best color for you for me i have a warm skin tone and i'm a brunette so golden tones usually match my skin very well so i'm gonna go with these two like gold tones one one of them is matte and the other one is shimmery so i'm gonna go with the matte first just like with my fingers something very messy because we're not going for anything too elaborate here just want like something to make us feel better and more like ourselves, you know? Now I'm gonna go in with my shimmery shade just like on top of it, just bringing it up and I'm just gonna go like with my clean finger on the highlighter here and just like dab a little bit of highlighter so we can give like a happy touch now i'm just gonna go in with my final touch which is my mascara you can usually for this all natural look you could just simply go with your curve x and just curve your lashes up that's gonna give uh, it a more like put together look to your eyebrow to your eyelashes but since i'm a person who cannot live without mascara i'm just gonna Mascara. So this one's from Ilia. They're like non-toxic, clean brand. Okay. Actually, before I finish this look, I'm gonna go in with my Lip Comfort Oil by Clahunts and just apply a little bit. That's gonna make the lips look a bit more pink and i'm also gonna finish everything off with my kodali beauty elixir so i'm just gonna try to hold my hair oh, i freaking love this this also helps set the makeup and moisturize your skin while doing so so yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked this video and found some useful tips. I think the value of this video is mostly on the face massage and microcurrent steps because that just helps so much to drain liquids from your skin and give you that facelift that is so good whenever you start your makeup because I think that like skincare is such an important step and you know you just want makeup to enhance and not just correct the imperfections on your skin so I think if you have some time I know it's hard to find time in your day to do a facial massage and a microcurrent uh, routine but if you do have that extra 10 or 15 minutes when you're getting getting ready it's just so important and it's gonna make the whole difference in the end trust me on that thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also to subscribe to my channel here 
and also go to my Instagram and follow me. I'm constantly posting beauty things and also fashion content on my stories and you know mostly fashion and lifestyle and travel on my feed. So make sure you follow me there too and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!